Hi everyone, my name is April and today I'm going to show you how to make this cutout bodysuit with flared sleeves. I got two yards of this stretchy velvet fabric and will be folding it in half to trace out my design. Using a sweater or t-shirt you have at home, fold the front in half and trace the center front, the neckline, the shoulder, armhole, and side seam. Your markings don't have to be perfect because later you can always make adjustments to the fit. As you can see, I ended up with multiple lines and true everything up before cutting. I then changed the front neckline into a V shape. Since the backside is going to be one whole piece, we can cut it out on fold by simply laying the front piece down and cutting out the same piece, except you'll be raising the neckline instead of making it a V shape. Now we can sew the two front pieces together down the center front and I basically sewed the entire bodysuit with my serger but you can use a stretch stitch or zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine as well. Then face the front and back bodice pieces right sides together and sew down the shoulder and side seams. To make the sleeve, I placed the fabric on fold and laid the bodice so that the shoulder seam is also on the fold. Then I just drew out a sleeve shape starting from the bottom of the armhole and curved it up along the top. This is my quick and lazy way to make sleeves. You will have to make adjustments to it and pin it around the armhole to make sure that it fits properly. You can also look at sleeves on your shirts at home and copy the shape of them if you don't know what a sleeve pattern looks like. Once your sleeves are finalized, fold it in half and sew down the underarm seam. Then face the sleeve right sides together to the armhole and attach it to the top. Next, to make the flared part of the sleeves, I cut out two circles, but since I didn't have enough fabric, I was only able to cut out one big one and one smaller one, but that's okay because all I had to do was cut each of those circles in half and attach them to each other. This works out because my sleeves are going to be a high-low design. This is just like making a circle skirt, except I'm not using any measurements. Just cut a small hole in the middle of the circle and check if it fits the sleeve. If not, cut a little more away. Then I sewed the flare to the sleeve so that the shorter side of the circle is in the front. Next, to make the neckband, I cut out a 2 inch piece of fabric on fold so that it's 4 inches wide when it's unfolded. Again, since I didn't have enough fabric to cut one long piece out, I just cut two of these pieces out for the neckband. The fit of it is up to you. Your material should be stretchy enough to slide over your head. What I did was make the neckband big at first and then I would try it on and determine how much tighter I wanted it to fit and took it in until I got the look I wanted. To attach the neckband to the neckline, I folded the neckband in half so that it's only 2 inches wide now and then sewed it along the back side of the neckline. If you need to, it's okay to stretch the neckband to fit the neckline. Then as I reached the front side of the shirt, I only sewed about one and a quarter inch into the front neckline on both sides. And I also didn't stretch the neckband when sewing the front side. 
So I just wanted to show you guys my mistake or something I would do different next time. In this video, I drafted the top with the v-neck going straight up to the shoulder seam. But what I wish I'd done was continue the front neckline about two more inches and then create the v-shape. That way the neckband doesn't pull on the neckline too much. The way I did it still ended up working out fine, but this is just something I think would have made it even better. Once the neckband is attached, I hem the v-neck with a stretch stitch. I recommend you guys sewing the center front closed last unlike me because now I had to seam rip the top of it open so that I can hem the v-shape anyways. After trying on the top, I decided to turn it into a bodysuit since I want to wear it tucked in. So I traced an underwear onto the fabric and attached it to the bottom of the sweater. I messed up here and forgot I was supposed to leave the bottom open to get in and out of the bodysuit, so I had to cut it open and add more fabric for seam allowance. To make the bodysuit hug nicely, lightly stretch and sew some elastic as you hem the raw edges of the leg hole. I'm using this thin clear elastic because I had it at home, but it's also good if you don't want the hem to feel too bulky. But go ahead and feel free to use any kind of the elastic you like or any kind that you already have at home. Lastly, hem the bottom of the bodysuit, hand sew two snap buttons on, and you're finished. Here is my finished top. I didn't hem the sleeves because the material doesn't unravel, but also because I was scared to hem it and ruin the velvet fabric. If you guys have any tips on working with velvet fabric, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what would be the best way to hem a velvet circle shape, or if it's best to just leave it unhemmed like me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. The behind the scenes to this tutorial will be up on my vlog channel, The Cool Lerpa Show. So be sure to head over there and subscribe for more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!